Okay, let's solve this question, uh, which says we have 32 into 10 Rome contains uh, a decoder of size. We have to see what size the decoder is, right? Uh, when we have 32 cross 10 Rome. So we know Rome, uh, and we also know the decoder from the previous video. Uh, if a little bit, I will give you that if you have a decoder, if you have a two input lines, so two raised power two, that is four output lines we're gonna have. So this is this will be two cross four decoder. If we have three input lines, right? So two to the power three, that is eight uh, output lines we will have. So this will be three cross eight. So similarly, if we have four input lines, one, two, three, four, two to the power four is 16 output lines we have, okay? And if we have, say, for example, five input lines, then we're gonna have two raised to the power five, that's 32 input lines, isn't it? Okay, so a room, uses a decoder for its, uh, you know, uh, addressing. So this is, say, for example, room, uh, inside of a room, and it will have two parts. One is the addressing part, which will be done by the decoder, okay? And then we have inter interconnection structures where actually data is stored, okay? Like this. And then we have outputs in the form of an OR gates. Okay? Now, uh, the scenario is that we have, a, uh, for example, if we say in a block diagram of a room like this, say for example, it has got a K inputs. So these inputs are actually the inputs which we give to the decoder, right? These are the inputs. So I'm making now this as a whole one box, where actually for addressing we have a decoder, then we have interconnection structures, where actual storage happens, then we have the output in the form of OR gates which goes out. That is the output. Okay? From these OR gates. Now I make a block diagram which says K inputs. Those are these inputs which inside we give the decoder. The decoder actually selects the address uh, in a particular cell in, in, in the ROM and OR gates will get actually the outputs. Now there are tourist power K into N ROM. And N is actually the output, right? Basically, when we show the line with the, you know, slash like this, this means uh, there, there are many, this is not a single line output, there are many lines. Okay. So what does that mean? If we have a K input lines, that is, these are the K input lines, we got two raised to power K, okay, inside internal connection structures, and we got an N output lines. The output lines are n. So let me explain it a bit more now. So that means if I have, say for example, we have the two input lines. So the decoder will, if I again do it, the decoder will have how many output lines? Four. One, two, three, four, right? So if you have a two input lines, we're gonna have four outputs. That means these, this, th that's why I say if I have a k input lines, that is two. So I'm gonna have two raised power k inside interconnection structures right because uh, these two input lines can address for these lines because if it is zero zero this will be selected if it is zero one this will be selected if it is one 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 zero this will be selected and if it is one one this will be selected so uh, so for addressing four output lines I have to use two input lines so you have to see my uh, video of uh, decoder to understand the decoder logic properly now uh, this will go like this okay then we may have say for example we have the uh, four uh, output outputs so we have four or gates like this which will be connected to these interconnection structures so it will make an interconnection structure we will have like this so it will be connected like this so i'm not uh, interested in designing of the room i'm uh, only uh, uh, i'm only gonna you know discuss only the addressing part here now how many output lines? 4. So that is why I have, if I have a K input line, that is 2 input lines, I will have 2 raised power, the ROM will be 2 raised power K into N. The N is this time 4, right? So similarly, if I have on this side 3 input lines, okay, so how many, what will be the ROM size? It will be 2 raised power 3, okay, that is 8. So the, the, uh, the, we will have an 8 lines here. From the decoder we got an eight lines right 
and how many output lines we have that depends say for example we have six output lines so we have six so it will be eight cross six row right so depending on the input the raised power of that okay that will be my ROM size so if I have say for example now I'm saying I have got a 32 cross 10 so what is this 32 it is actually 2 raised power k the inputs whatever the inputs I have this is that say, say uh, in, in Abu diagram if I see this I am saying look at this I'm saying I got an 8 cross 8 this is my 8 cross 6 ROM so how, how is this 8 cross 6 because it, what, what was the decoder logic in it the decoder was because it was 2 raised power 3 okay so so the decoder was having three, this decoder was 3 cross 8 is it so if I have a ROM of 8 cross 6 the decoder is because this 8 is 2 raised power 3 so decoder is 3 cross 8 right so in general I can say if I say in general so in general I will say like this that if I have 2 raised power k into n ROM the decoder will be k into 2 raised power k okay say for example the above diagram 2 raised power k was 8 into n was 6 for example so what are the decoder because uh, because this 8 is actually 2 raised to power 3 so k is 3 right so decoder will be 3 into 2 raised to power 3 8 3 cross 8 as you see here because we, we had an 8 in 6 8 is actually 2 raised to power k into n so k must be 3 then because 2 raised to power 3 is 8 so k must be 3 so we got 3 cross 8 so in general if we have here 8 uh, decoder will also have an 8 okay so what about 32 cross 10 now let's talk about this 32 cross 10 let's design first if it is 32 cross 10 that means I have a uh, let me say uh, on this side this is a decoder I'm, I'm I don't know how many decoder is but this is having a 32 line these are having 32 lines that means a decoder is um, having output of 32 lines and I'm having uh, 10 OR gates here right I'm having 10 OR gates here so that is why it is 32 cross 10 so if I talk about this is uh, 32 is how much that is 2 raised power 5 is it 2 raised power 5 32 5 is k so k equals to 5 right so that means my decoder will be 5 input lines and 2 raised power 5 is 32 output lines okay so that this decoder will have 32 as an uh, uh, sorry this uh, room will have a 32 as an input so this is 32 cross 10 so because my if, if, if this is 32 uh, if I am saying my room is 32 cross 10 decoder will also be 32 but what is about what about this side this side is what is this this is 2 raised power 5 so this is 5 cross 32 okay so if my it's what I said if I have a 2 raised power k into n room then I will I will have k into 2 raised power k because 2 raised power 2 raised power k is the same 32 32 will be same and this k will come here because if it's 32 2 raised to power 5 is 32 so this will be 5 cross 32 as a decoder hope there you got the answer